Hello, my people. Now we, the nation voice, the voice when they review the secret things, when B said the politician, then T said they cover. In case you just join us for the first time, and at the first time when B say they watch us for this channel, be this, I say you are welcome. I beg, do me a favor. Press that red subscribe button and that small bell when nearer so that anytime we will take upload new video, you will be the first person to watch. And I pray the same way we take the support us for this channel. Now same way when God will take same people when we will they support you in everything what you they do for life. In Jesus' name. Amen. And with that, we don't waste any of your time again. May we go straight to the news when we get today. <coughs> Good afternoon. How are you all doing? Citizen AY here. Good afternoon. Good afternoon to you all. How are you all doing? Um, good afternoon to you all. I hope you can see this text. Good afternoon to you all. Um, I want to just... Um, you can see what I put... What the text I put up there. Um, and it's asking, uh, good afternoon to you. How are you all doing? Um, yeah, uh, thank you for your continued support. Um, I want to, I want to go into details about a few things. Um, and I wanted to just sort of look at things from, a, you know, to give you, you know, my own take on things. Uh, the, I, I, when we look at the government, this government of ours that we have on ground, you know, um, um, we, we, sorry, somebody's just calling me now. One second, please. Who's that? Uh, oh, one second, please. One second. Who's this? Uh, good afternoon. Uh, how, I'm, I'm live right now. Who's speaking? Sorry? Okay, yes, I can hear you now. Yes, I can hear you. One second, you go ahead. I'll, I'll put your speaker. One second, go ahead. Go ahead. Go on. Someone just let me comment. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Um, I, my own views is not really so much important. Um, well, well, look, there are different pictures there. And what I said for people was to go and watch those videos, watch those things, and let them decide themselves. Now, overwhelmingly, a lot of people, overwhelmingly, a lot of people have different views about it. The, they're not comfortable with what they are seeing so and that's all i think i think we need to provide the inf information for people to make decisions themselves um unfortunately our governance our governance has not done the right thing by the people and the very sorry sorry but that's 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 whether or not that's 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 besides the point the issue that we're looking at is that our people are not you know have been served Yes. What look, what I've done, the pictures that you see me post are all the pictures they posted. Yes. Yes. We are asking a question. There's four different videos. Yes. And I'm, I'm going to be very, I'm, I'm a sound professional in the United Kingdom. Yes. So, uh, uh, in the first place, I don't even believe someone like you should be using the light camera over if you are well established and doing well in England. That's hard to live in England. No, right. No, no, okay. No, okay. Listen, listen, my brother. Listen, I, I thank you very much. Will you listen to me? I am, li listen, I thank you very much. Okay. I am saying to you, I thank you very much, and now we have to cut this phone line now. I, I, pre I appreciate you. Are you, are you you're just a useless crowd, 
Thank you. Right. Okay. So, guys, you can see that now. So, guys, you can see that I've got a call. Um, somebody just called me. And they've just come to abuse. And they've just called me a useless cranger. And that's fine. That's okay. All we need to know, our people haven't got this information. You know? He, he, just, trying, he just wants to try and discredit me. But I'm, all I am asking for is to question what we are being told. All we are saying is we want to know what our governance is doing. But clearly, what we were doing in the last few days has ruffled a few feathers. He has made them. And no, please continue to like the show because it will feel like the show. Exactly. Thank you. So we've ruffled a few feathers. And they don't like the fact that we are having this discussion. Now, the topic of today was, was going to be, and still is going to be, what is government? Now, I want to just quickly um, do something. Because then I want, I, what I will do is afterwards, I will go into the script. I will then go into the script, um, into, um, into the transcript. And let's look at that. Uh, because there's two things here. Firstly, we got issues with the so-called Buhari. There's four people who are, whose video pictures we see as Buhari. There's four different people. And one of them, we last saw him in, 20, in May 2017. The other three are still showing up as we speak. Depending on the situation, depending on the conditions, depending on even the one. The one that was on, even the one that was on yesterday, that was a recorded program. We asked to speak to Buhari live. They gave us a recording. And if you notice in the recording, it was actually clipped. So after a while, it went round again. That recording went round again. I, look, I'm not, I don't have any fun in all of this, in this. I don't take any pleasure. So that's why I asked the question, what is government? You know, and, and, and the simple answer is government is there to take care of the people, you know. Uh, let me just, I'll type it what it said, not even my words now. Let me just type it in on, on, on Google, you know, and let's just see what co Google comes up with, you know. So let me just see. So briefly, Google says, you know, let me just, I'll turn it around so you can see now. Google says, government, the group of people with authority to govern a country or state, particularly ministry in office. The relation between the government, a governed and a governed, the word. You know, so I, let me even find, let me see if I can find best definition. Here we go. So I'll try and find the best definition. Uh, the political direction and control exercised over the actions of members, of the members, citizens, or inhabitants of communities, societies, states, direction of affairs of a state, community, political administration. Government is necessary to the existence of civilized society. That's what it states. So now I want to ask a simple question. Now that a government is necessary to the existence of a civilized society, what do we have on ground in Nigeria? We cannot honestly say that what we have on ground in Nigeria is governance. It isn't. It is not governance. In Europe, the, all the governments are bending over backwards to alleviate the lives of the citizens. All the European governments, they are doing everything they can. And in UK, you, you, and in the US and in Canada, they are doing everything they can to make sure that they ease the pains of their citizens. That is what they are doing. Their job is indeed to serve the people. Government by the people, for the people, by the people. You know? So, these are, this, but what we have on ground, it's not a government of the people, by the people, for the people. It isn't. It, it, they don't care about citizens. Governance in, in, th that, in that African term, from what, they, from, from what they are doing, that we are, it's like we are slaves. It's like we are slaves in that contraption. And they just don't want the slaves to say anything. They, as far as those in government are concerned, you do not have the right to question anyone. Whereas in the U.S., the same people 
that tell us to look at the US, to look at the UK. In the UK, the people are perfectly entitled to question their governance, to hold them to account. That's what governance is about. Governance is necessary for the, to the existence of a civilized, civilized society. That's what the, the best definition I can, I can come up with, comes up with. Yet, in our governance, you cannot ask the government why they are not providing funds for people. You know, you cannot, you cannot ask questions of the government and say, listen, look, we know that you're in government. The least you can do for us right now is to make our lives a little easier, to make things a bit more easier for us. Now, the reason why I say this, I went, I've, been, I've been making some calls to Nigeria today, and everybody is rushing to the bank today. There are queues in the bank today because the two weeks is going to be short. Everything will be short. And the banks, people are queuing right now because they want to make sure they have some funds. Because the government, for the term they used, they said the government will not provide us with funds. So we have to make sure we have those funds, the little we have. Some companies, companies are literally having to pay staff. And they are having to find the funds themselves. They don't know, after they pay this fund, the staff don't know where they are going to get the next pay. The staff simply do not have access to the next pay. So we are asking... We are asking a simple question. This government, what benefit is this government, both local, both state to federal, of what benefit is it to the lives of the citizens in this crisis, in this pandemic, in this pandemic, in this pandemic, of what benefit is this government? The people are being told, from tomorrow, from 12 o'clock, everything is on lockdown. Fine. We understand everything is on lockdown. We get that. In fact, we recommend it because we don't want the spread of the coronavirus. But you see, the government is very good. This government, they're very good at doing something. They will say, they will say, pass a law. We, you, we forbid you for doing that. And they don't take responsibility for making, taking that decision. Because when you say to people, Sorry, from now on, you cannot go out. You have to stay indoors. Then you have to think, okay, if I am going to do that, a good governance will say, what impact will my decision have on the lives of the people? That's what a good governance would do. You would, that's what they do in Europe. That's what they do in Canada. That's what they do in US. That's what they do, you know, all over the world, except in our climate in Africa. In Africa, the government is the judge and the jury and nobody they are the law they are law unto themselves and they don't care about the consequences of the actions that they take that negatively impacts the lives of the people that's why we are having discussions like this that is why people are joining the likes of myself mayegu um 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 uh, Simon and um, Faith and um, Angela. That's why they're talking. That's why people are having this discussion. So today now, I've just heard people are going into the banks. And because, rightly so, because of this, um, this coronavirus, they are only letting two in at a time. Very good. I like that. Now we are understanding that about social distancing. Very good. People have been queuing for all day. For about until I just called you, and they still have not received taking money out because that queue is long. Very good. Why doesn't the bank make the life, um, the government make the lives of Nigerians easier? Easier. Why don't they do something to benefit the lives of the citizens that they are meant to serve? Why do they have to frustrate people? The words that I was told that I was told was that they're saying we are trying to make sure we have some funds now because we don't know when next they're going to open it because they know that it's probably going to be more than two weeks. They hope it's less than two weeks, but it's probably going to be more. And, and unfortunately, the government is not paying. If you are if you are if you're government staff, the government may pay you something. But if you're a private company, and you're running your business. This government hasn't got any plans for you. So what are the palliatives? What are the palliatives to 
actually encourage Nigerians to stay at home, to comply with government rules, to comply with government decision. Because Buhari wrote down, let me see if I can find what he wrote. And I wanted to go through what he was, his, his, um, his, um, his, what he wrote, read. I mean, we, I don't know which Buhari we're talking to anyway. I don't know anymore. I've lost count. Like I said, as far as I know, there are four types of Buhari, four different Buharis. And we don't know who, depending on the day, time of the day, of the morning or the night, we don't know which one will surface. Is it the tall one? Is it the short one? Is it the old one? Is it the young one? We don't know. We don't know. And we have every right to ask that question. The man that was put before us in that recorded video was not the man that was in the video two days before that they showed us. And is not trying to discredit anybody, but pure facts. And, and, I, and I'm comfortable to discuss that with anybody. But when you're trying to make it into a personal attack, to attack somebody for having a different opinion and for voicing. In this country, you can question Boris. But exactly. Four times about Buhari. You can question Boris Johnson. You can question anybody. The, 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 you can question um, the, 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 uh, Jeremy Corbyn. You can question anybody. You have a right to do anything. Of course, if you now become violent, uh, unacceptable. So nobody should be violent. But to speak to or to question their decisions or to ask them to give clarification or to present themselves to be open to question something which, something which Buhari never did yesterday. In all of that, in that recorded interview, it was recorded. It wasn't live. Nobody could ask Buhari questions because they were just playing us a pre-recorded video. That's all they were doing. They played us a pre-recorded video to just say to us, oh, you know what? Um, we've thought about the fact that you are not able to feed. So we are going to, um, um, we are going to do a, a little palliative. We are going to work out a place in which the kids who are not able to feed at home, now we will, be, we will feed them at home and we will work out the, the, the plans. You should already have the plan in place. In London, in UK, the government straight away, as soon as they said everybody stop working, they said, right, Majority of all the workers now, we are paying 80% of their salaries. Straight away. It wasn't a question of, oh, let us start the whole thing first, then let's work out uh, the modalities later. The modalities were provided immediately. That's good governance, surely, isn't it? That's good governance. And that's what we are talking about. I mean, like I said now, going back to this issue of the bank, now... Those of us who are sending money home, they've made some different changes to things. Suddenly, you would think that in the time that where we, are, we have this pandemic, where money needs to be getting to the hands of the people, the government have now put in a new rule, rule that the banks now have now asked for people to provide verification for their account. What that means now is that those of you that us that are able to send money home before now and with our bank account, suddenly we have them to put a new, uh, there's, a, there's a new restriction. And they, they want to see now, they're asking you to use a particular way. This is all frustrating. This is not how you alleviate the, the lives of the people. This is not how you alleviate people's lives. The, the, this government, the government are frustrating Nigerians. And then they wonder why we are looking closely into those who are governing us, trying to understand why, what is driving them from, to make the decisions that they are making. They wonder why we are now looking closely with a, you know, with a magnifying glass to see that what we are being told is actually what is meant to happen. And what they promised us is actually what has actually happened. There's very, look, the government will say to us one thing and they will do another. And that is the problem that we have here. That is the problem. And that is why the likes of myself and Mayegu and others, that is why we are trying to wake up our people. And there is nothing wrong in doing that. And we have the power within our constitution, as weak as that constitution is, is to question our governance. Indeed, we are mandated, mandated to participate in our own governance. We are mandated to participate in our own governance. Yet, at the very same time, this government don't want us to participate in our own governance. 
What they want us to do is to just go, yes, sir, or yes, sir, yes, sir, how, jump, how high, okay, sir, that's all they want us to do. 